All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking an over-the-top beautiful splendiferous. It is a splendiferous day here in the end times on the most glorious October I have ever experienced in my life. It is 81 degrees here on Wednesday. It's this October 4th, 2023, I believe. Unbelievable. We are in Hammondsport, New York, where the fall leaves are absolutely peaking. It is just one of these... Uh, one of these days, we're driving along the west shore of, uh, is it Kuka Lake? Is that how you pronounce this? Kuka Lake. I just found Kuka Lake here a few weeks ago and vowed I would return in October. <coughs> and uh, here I sit. Me and my little dog. Uh, little dog is not that interested in the scenery of Kuka Lake. Uh, good Lord. Keuka. K E U K A. Uh, we're taking the upper road. We've already been along the lake shore and now we're up here in the vineyards. This is in the Finger Lakes. One of the lesser known Finger Lakes, and I'm beginning to think it might be my favorite one, but uh, so we have got absolutely gorgeous weather, spectacularly like, gorgeous scenery, uh, good tunes on the radio, out here enjoying it while we still can. We are enjoying both the fruits of global industrial civilization and this planet. And of course, there is one thing missing, and that is my Doomer Chick Forever. Uh, my Doomer Chick Forever uh, sitting next to me. And, uh, the, the one thing missing in my life uh, to complete this picture here. The missing Doomer Chick forever. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm still working on it. Uh, so, this, you know, I have really turned Bugs in a Jar Farm as uh, what did some young couple they left in the in my little guest book in blue dragon uh how i have created a beautiful space for lovers that's what they said created a beautiful space for lovers <laughs> oh god i i am so glad i am doing my part for humanity for creating this space for lovers this is one of these wineries these finger lake wineries i'm not really gonna go get some wine i just want to take a ride up here through these beautiful vineyards yep so, the old doomsday lonely art. I've obviously found my niche, my service to humanity is creating a beautiful space so other people can uh, come to my property and uh, fuck their brains out or do whatever they're doing up here. 
Good Lord, I have. There's probably been more. Uh, <laughs> there's probably been more goddamn latex burned at bugs in a jar farm this summer than there has uh, on America's highways with all of these tires. Uh, Jesus, I was <clears throat> sitting outside. Uh, Sitting outside of Blue Dragon yesterday morning on this spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful morning at Blue Dragon and uh, there was this uh, young couple up the hill in Seahorse, you know, I was sitting out having my coffee and uh, I could hear this beautiful young girl up in seahorse laughing she had this real infectious laugh and thinking about that line the opening verse of late in the evening although of course this was early in the morning about uh you know that paul simon song late in the evening talking about his very first memory very first memory lying in his bed could not have been more than one or two and about how he heard the sound my mother laughed the way some ladies do yep my mother laughed way some ladies do just you know just the sound of female laughter uh, it's just been one of the the great joys of my life is uh, you know a woman with a good laugh with a good sexy laugh uh, good lord it's enough to bring tears to my doomer lonely heart eyes uh, just one more thing I will never hear well I mean I can't say I'll never hear it I get to hear it all the time from other men's girlfriends in this little uh little bivouac for lovers that I have created I have taken my vision for my own doomer chick forever and uh, let some other young men enjoy the fruits of my labor ah, fuck little dog soulmate all right is this road going to come back down to the lake or not so, yep the combination beautiful weather beautiful scenery great tunes and a beautiful woman sitting next to you enjoying all this listening to the sound of a good woman laughing uh, but I still uh, hope always springs eternal so I I know you guys are have enjoyed this little uh, Dulcinea break that you've enjoyed for the past uh, couple of years but as you may or may not know Dulcinea has returned uh, <laughs> Dulcinea has returned to the comment section so I I know she's listening to this and uh, as a few of you 
No, I know Dulcinea uh, knows this. I have, uh, you know, I have recently, uh, oops, now I know this. Uh, I gotta go back up. Uh, I don't know what the hell, in the middle of all this gorgeous scenery, this is the second time I have come up on the ruins of global industrial civilization here in this gorgeous scenery. But anyway, uh, as Dulcinea and some of you know, I have, you know, just gotten kind of bored shitless of the, uh, of the Doomosphere. Then, you know, there's only so many ways you can say how fucked we are uh, on this planet. So, uh, I am, uh, after a 22-year break in my life, I am beginning to uh, slip back down into the space alien uh, rabbit hole. So, you know, I've been completely out of the loop, and this really isn't a space alien rant. That's gonna, I'm creating a new channel called uh, Aliens and Doomers, where I'm going to be figuring out what to do. So this really isn't a space alien rant. So anyway, I was on, uh, I, I'm listening to all of these, reading all these stories and listening to these videos. So I was watching this crazy video last night of this woman uh, not saying she's a doomer chick I don't think she is she just looks like a total normie so this uh, video is featuring this uh, we're going to assume that she's a normie since most uh, since most people are normies that's what we're gonna we're, we're gonna assume but you could tell uh, that this woman was clearly, okay, she was, she was attractive, uh, well-dressed, uh, she was obviously intelligent, she was educated, uh, assumedly, I don't know why I'm assuming, that she has like a regular job, might or might not be a homeowner, I don't know, but they they didn't talk much about what she did in her real life and didn't uh, and did not give her last name but it was you know, it, it was obvious from from uh, looking at this video that this woman was not a whack job just your run-of-the-mill whack job she was she was not some crazy drooling uh, psychotic bag woman you know what I'm saying she's like she would uh, if you met this woman on the street you would think I'm sure correctly that you just met this nice normie uh, young woman uh, and, you know, showing little videos from her dancing at the goddamn disco with the clueless morons and shit like this. And talking about just how she led this life like anybody else leads. But the one thing she had not found in her life was the ban of her dreams. And there was a simple explanation for why she was not in a pair bond and it was a very simple explanation so apparently when she was two years old when she was two years old uh, she was out playing in her yard I don't know where her mother was uh, when her two-year-old daughter was playing uh, in, in in the yard and in broad daylight she wasn't exactly abducted by space aliens that wasn't 
you, you know what happened to her she was playing out there in the yard and a little space alien walked up to her and asked her if uh, she wanted to go for a ride on the spaceship and it sounded uh, it sounded perfectly sensible to her uh, this two-year-old child when a space alien I, you do you want to go for a ride on my spaceship she said sure so she gets on the spaceship she you know she's not being held down on the table and probed and all of this stuff she goes on the spaceship with this very nice space alien and while she's on the spaceship she gets introduced the the space alien I uh, wanted to introduce her to this little boy who is a, a, a human, a, another human. So the space alien introduced this two-year, well, girl, to this little boy. Uh, she said this now, you know, 30-year-old woman talking about, but you know, he was a few years older than she was. He wasn't two. He was, I don't know, maybe six. So anyway, uh, they played around together uh, on the spaceship uh, for a little while, and she had a great time hanging out with this little boy and the space aliens, and then the uh, alien, you know, just took her back and and uh, bid her farewell, and that was that, and so now she knows that what that was is that she, you know, was being introduced to her soulmate, to her twin flame that she had met, uh, her normie dude forever on this spaceship so she is pretty much you know dedicating her entire life to uh to finding uh this little boy that she met on uh that she met on this spaceship because obviously uh, he was the, the, the only man uh, on a planet of 8 billion people. He was clearly chosen. Uh, and I don't want to spoil it, but anyway, at the very end, she finds the guy. They actually, uh, a after years of searching for each other and not giving up and holding the faith, they uh, actually found each other. Uh, there you go. So the universe put it together. And so there you go. It can happen. Uh, so, but, so I, I watched this video uh, last night. This, it was actually kind of a feel good little warm and fuzzy space alien video about these, you know, these two twin flames meeting each other on a, uh, on a UFO uh, and searching their entire lives and then finally encountering each other. Now, they had the good sense to recognize each other and it now I don't know how old the video is. I think it was fairly recent. Uh, and how the relationship worked out. Uh, but obviously you're supposed to figure that they lived happily ever after. Uh, so anyway, I watched this video. And I go to sleep, you know, up in uh, up in Blue Dragon, uh, this remote little cabin, this little uh, t 
tiny house for lovers that I have. Uh, did you look at that, guys? This tiny house for lovers that I've created, and uh, I had this uh, very vivid dream. Now, it's not to the level of a space alien abduction, okay? Uh, it was, but it was a very vivid dream, and what came through in the dream is that Dulcinea and I, and I know you're listening to this, darling, that Dulcinea and I met on a spaceship when we were, when we were uh, young children. Now, of course, I'm 11 years older than Dulcinea, so uh, obviously, uh, if she was two, I guess I was 13 when we met. But uh, it, it's obvious to me that this, you know, watching that video, that this, uh, this memory was unlocked of, of meeting uh, my Doomer chick forever on a spaceship. And, you know, this is the reason. Uh, clearly, I, I mean, I, I have no doubt in my mind, and, and I don't need to listen to uh, all of your negative comments, uh, because I'm, I'm really just making this video for, for Dulcinea. I don't give a fuck what any of the rest of you think. Uh, she knows damn well what I'm talking about. That's all that I care about. And... Uh, so it is the reason, you know, it took till uh, I was uh, 60 years old, uh, just going through all of these relationships and all of this and blah, blah, waiting and waiting, knowing that uh, I've been, I have been searching uh, for uh, my who I have been searching for and I just did not realize this until it all came together last night was this little girl that I met on this spaceship uh, 50 years ago and uh, so that is when you know 50 years of uh, waiting for my doomer chick forever uh, when I did lay eyes on Dulcinea I, you know the, the, the first time uh, getting back to that Paul Simon song uh, how does that line go uh, when you first came into my life I said I'm gonna get that girl no matter what I do first first time I remember when you came into my life said I'm gonna get that girl no matter <laughs> what I do I mean this is the reason when uh, when when Dulcinea appeared in front of me uh, for, for the first time you, you know it, it, it was clearly the woman that I I uh, had been waiting for since meeting her on the goddamn spaceship. Uh, I mean, there, there, there's, there's no doubt about it uh, in my mind that uh, that this is the reason. You know, why I told her I'd known Dulcinea for one hour. Uh, and I think, as I recall, she was sitting there telling me some story uh, uh, about some semi-space alien or whatever. And I interrupted her and said, Darling, I just, I just want to let you know that you are the woman 
that I have been waiting for for my entire life. I, the, the second I saw you, I knew that you were my twin flame, my soulmate, my doomer chick forever, and that you are the woman uh, that I have been, uh, clearly you're the woman that, uh, that I have been waiting for. And uh, the difference being that uh, this, this, this woman uh, is, she knows, Dulcinea knows that uh, we met on this spaceship and she knows that we are soulmates and twin and that I am her twin flame and that we belong together and, and, and through the ages uh, that we have this soul connection cemented on this UFO but she's too fucking chicken shit to uh, to act on it uh, you know, right there in front of you, you know, you can lead a, a, a horse to, uh, you can lead a horse to their twin flame, but you can't make them drink. So, anyway, uh, at least I know uh, it, it, the mystery of uh, that reaction I had to seeing Dulcinea the first time I it ha, has been open and shut answered for me uh, why uh, I, I was knocked on my ass uh, the, the first time uh, I laid eyes on this woman because it wasn't the first time it was the second time Ah, uh, fuck. But anyway, what are you gonna do when you can't get your own twin flame to uh, cut the goddamn bullshit? You know, going to all our goddamn UFO meetings and all of this stuff, uh, trying to figure out what all of this uh, UFO space alien shit's all about when it's right in front of her damn face. <sighs> Wish me luck. I've been patient for... What is it now? Uh, is it going to be three years or four years on November 1st? Is it our... Let's see, 23. Uh, our, I think it's our four year anniversary uh, on November 1st. The, was that day that I uh, first laid eyes on my twin flame four years. Waiting for my twin flame to shit or get off the pot. Anyway, good things come to those who wait. So I continue to sit here waiting patiently for Dulcinea to. Uh, Come meet me on a UFO. I guess, uh, <laughs> darling, I guess, I guess that's the only way I'm going to dislodge you out of your, uh, out of your whatever, your, your velvet rut, your comfort trap that you've been in for 50 years. Yeah. Trying to dislodge somebody from their comfort trap and their velvet ruts 
not an easy thing to uh, dislodge somebody from a velvet rut. But, uh, sitting here biding my time. Man, I'm a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. In the end times, get out there and enjoy finding your twin flame on a UFO while you still can. Bye guys.